In this video I'm going to show you three different ways to draw free form shapes and create any shape you want in PowerPoint. So let's look at where you find the option. So the first thing to do is to click on insert and then you want to go into the shapes options here. So under shapes you'll find lines. The first one I want to show you is the one that I find most useful and that is the free form shape option here towards the end. And I'm going to show you how to actually use this. It's not as obvious as it might look. So you just click where you want to start your shape. And then if you start clicking in certain locations, you can start drawing lines. And so you can make this shape however you like. If you want a little bit more control, what you can do is you can click and then hold down and then you can start dragging. So clicking and dragging lets you do this sort of thing. Now, if you complete the shape by going back to the beginning, it will then shade it in and fill in your shapes. That's one way of doing it. There are two other options that are quite useful. So we go back into insert and then we go into shapes. If you want to make a shape that is purely based on curved lines, then this function here is quite useful. It lets you draw curves. And of course you can close this and you'll get another custom shape. And then if you want lots and lots and lots of control and you don't want straight lines, you don't want curves, you want very, very free form, the last option here of freeform scribble, you can just start scribbling all over. And then if you close the shape as before, it will create that custom shape. So I've shown you very quickly with some random shapes, but by taking some care, you are able to create what you want. Another good tip is if you hold down the control key and then scroll the mouse wheel, you can actually scroll in and out. And if you scroll right in and make it as small as possible, that will give you a finer control over the shape that you get. So I hope these tips were helpful to you and you can now draw some more free form shapes in PowerPoint. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe. And finally, thank you very much for watching.